celebrating the 4th with hot dogs and hamburgers. But we're talking about pickles tonight. Crowds relished at the chance to attend the Berry and Springs yeah. Pickle Festival. Thank you, Matt. Our Matt got spent a great deal of time there today. He has our story tonight. I'm in your town. With a dip from my hip, gonna be the best pickle to ever touch your dip. Don't slip. There are a lot of festivals surrounding the 4th of July in Michiana, but none of them are as big of a deal as this one. Today is the third annual pickle festival here in Berrien Springs. Uh, it's something that we did years and years ago, and we brought it back in 2021 post-COVID, and so far we've got a lot of people out here. We've got food vendors, we've got kids games, um, craft vendors, all sorts of good stuff going on. The event initially started in the 1990s as the Christmas Pickle Festival, a German-American tradition where the one who finds the pickle hidden in the tree receives good luck for the next year. So originally back in the day, back in the 1990s, our Chamber of Commerce wanted to do a kind of a fun uh, festival. So they chose the Christmas pickle, and it's which is the ornament that you put up in the Christmas tree. When we brought it back, it just came back as the pickle festival. So we kind of just changed it up a little bit. Why not pickles? The village decided to bring back this delightful festival, but centered it more around homemade pickles, pickle tasting, and local vendors. Some of our other food vendors, I think there's a pickle pretzel, um, pickle on a stick, pickle pizza, there's a pickle fling, you name it, we've got it. Families say there's never a dill moment at the fest, even if they don't enjoy pickles. We were just in town, we're staying in Stevensville, and, uh, you know, uh, I personally don't like pickles very much, but the rest of my family does, so uh, we just thought we would come check it out. It was uh, looked like the best thing happening here on the 4th of July. The festival even has its own grand dill meister who says the festival's bread and butter is bringing people together over a delicious snack. What's your favorite kind of pickle? <laughs> well, before now, I didn't even know there were that many pickles, and so my answer is all of them. <laughs> Matt Gotch, 16 News Now. Matt, you should be proud of that. Happening.